probably run a little bit slower time tomorrow because we do want to plant and I think there's possibly some contracts out there and I would like to get some mid-year income so that we can pay off our debt stop playing paying that interest yes yeah we're, we're playing with seasons um, this field I believe had triticalian last year which is similar to wheat or barley and we harvested that in late summer and so since the next plan for this field was sunflowers which can't be planted until this point in the year I was basically running over six months eight eight months almost with no crop in the field now realistically farmers put down a cover crop so that the uh, the soil doesn't get damaged and is protected from wind and rain and all the rest of it in farm sim you put down a crop so that um, you get a boost in nitrogen i do not use oilseed radish in the base game because it takes out from the growing cycle and obviously in base game you want your fields producing um, cash crops all of the time in order to maximize your income with with seasons you've got periods where you're just not um, you could, your field can't be productive so planting oilseed radish is a good way to get some free fertilizer it's not technically not free um, but yeah while the field's just sitting there not doing anything and it turns out because we're planting sunflowers after a cereal crop the cereal crop did drain down nitrogen quite significantly but I think this um, this application of oilseed radish is going to be sufficient that we're not going to use much if any fertilizer when we plant the sunflowers so that's that's a bonus I mean as far as oilseed radish is concerned it is the most efficient crop you can plant for seed amount potatoes being the worst uh, I believe wheat and barley possibly corn and the other one um, oh I've lost all my spreadsheets Darn. sorry uh, distraction um, they use twice the amount of seed that oilseed or no four times the amount of seed that oilseed radish does for the same field area potatoes uses 10 times what we barley corn etc use so if you need 5,000 liters of seed to plant a field of wheat you need 50,000 liters of seeds to plant potatoes and you need 1,250 to plant oilseed radish so oilseed radish is a very cheap thing to plant and it obviously it then works out to be much cheaper <coughs> than um, solid or liquid fertilizer obviously not manure although manure is not an efficient um, fertilizer you go through a lot of it to get the effect um, this farm for natural fertilizer we tend to use digestate I sell a lot of silage to the VGA which gives me a ton of digestate but even that doesn't go very far but it does help defray the costs of fertilization most of our fertilizer is liquid little bit of solid occasionally my, my spreader is not ideal it'll destroy crops that are growing but it's the big heavy breedle which you can use to lime a field so that's basically why I have it hey hey welcome back
The other thing I do need to consider this year is uh, herbicide spraying. <coughs> because I have ignored um, weeds up until now. And with seasons running, weeds aren't the problem that they are in base game. They, they, they come up in patches, and so it's not as significant. So, I mean, if we look at our, our current map, weeds. Oh, it needs plant or whatever. So you see all of these fields have little dots of weeds. So these little patches aren't significant when it comes to yield because they're so small. If the, you know, if the entire field's covered in weeds, then that's a problem. Got that field there. So I'm not seeing a big problem with weeds in any of our fields at the moment. The problem is, is because I'm not addressing the weeds on the second year I get those weeds back even though I've, I've just plowed this field it had weeds in it um, those weeds will come back very very quickly and then new weeds will start growing so eventually you get to the point where there's quite a significant infestation of weeds and you have to do something about it Typically clover and grass fields tend to suffer the most because you harvest them the most. Grass we cut three times a year, except I don't have any grass fields that I'm planning to cut anymore. Clover I cut twice a year. So last year I had two clover harvests and all of the arable fields just had one harvest. So, you know, those clover fields tend to get um, weed infestations are a lot, lot quicker, and I may have to do something about that. Either this year, maybe next year, not sure. Okay. Did dump a spray what, a pressure washer down here because I figured that was a good plan. The problem is, is we come through the main gate, now cedars are all full of seed and you don't want to be cleaning out pressure washing a cedar when it's full of seed. So what I tend to do, what I did was I put in a second washer down here so that uh, the cedar's empty by the time we get here. Over there we have our slurry kit which is what we use for digestate. Um, this field, uh, what's it, field, Field replay, uh, what's it? It's that uh, field refilled container, something like FRC. Um, runs to about 55,000 litres, so it's a good supply of, uh, of digestate on hand. Um, I do keep a lot of the times I won't bother buying a plow. I'll lease a plow to get past the this field needs to be plowed requirement. But once I've done that, I don't usually need it anymore. Since this farm we are planting potatoes and um, the other thing, sugar beets. Uh, it does need plowing after each of those. So... Hence, I actually have plows on, you know, on the vehicle roster. Farm Sim 17, obviously, you had to plow every third harvest. So again, it was something I kept. The The spreader we have is, as I said, the big breedle. So big white tires, you can't get narrow tires on that, so it's always going to destroy crops. But like I said, I use that just for the lime spreading because it has a good capacity. It's still not good enough, but um, with precision farming, you don't have to lime every three harvests. 
However, every time you harvest the pH content of the actually I don't want to shut that the pH content of the field drops. So it's it's really a um, you know, it's a personal call as to when you get around to uh, planting, or sorry, to spreading lime to get the pH back to what it needs to be. Alrighty, somewhere in here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Canola, little seed radish, sunflowers. side. Oink. Still have to jump in. So another mod I'm using, Realistic Cedar Mod. It means you have to buy the type of seed you want to, for what you want to plant. Hence all of this. So yeah, we've got grass, we've got spelt, we've got barley, triticale, sugar beets, and the stuff over there and you can't I can't press the button to switch to planting something different if I wanted to we are stuck planting sunflowers at the moment because that's what's in the planter now the nice thing about that is the bags of seed that we buy varies in price so if I go here pallets um, here we go wheat seed fairly cheap, barley seed a little bit more expensive, oat seed a little bit more expensive, but even the seed potatoes, very cheap. And that's for 2100 litres. So, you know, you're buying, your, your, your seed costs vary. I don't know that, um, oops. I don't know if precision farming takes all that into account. But it is what it is. So right there. We'll load the fertilizer up. But I do like the that realistic cedar mod. Come on, get it. Oh. I am using a strongman mod. Well, I'm using the easy developer tools. And the only thing I really use that for at the moment is moving heavy stuff around because farm sim physics can get frustrating. Okay, I probably don't need to put this much fertilizer in the tank. I probably need some more sunflower, but I don't have any. So I might need to go to the store and buy some. For right now, that is all set up, and it is quarter to seven in the evening. Game time. So I am not not taking this out right now. Park this over here, ready for the morning. Check the sheep. So that's over fifty percent. That's fine. Ooh, sugar beets are a little bit low on that one. And clover cybage is a little bit low on that one. Okay, how many sheep have we got? Three hundred and thirty. I need to move eighty sheep from there. Almost eighty sheep from there. That's more than that will take. Okay. Gonna move some small sheep anyway, because it's probably a good idea to keep up with it. Just because. So baby sheep, it would appear, do not uh, look like they produce wool in their first year. Which is unfortunate, I guess. Now I am going to take the liberties with the game engine here. And drive through the hedge. 
and it would appear that I need to have the gate open to load the horse or the, the animal car. So I will leave the gates open while we do this. So excuse the unrealistic nature of the next few minutes. Okay, we need... Oh, look at that. We have over a thousand sheep on the farm. Yay. Okay. No. Confirm. Yes. And of course we're now getting to the point where we have more baby sheep than the top field can take. Now the, what, the advantage with baby sheep is they don't eat as much as the adult sheep. So, uh, the, food, the food usage in this top field is very, very low. Okay, give me a second, I need to take a break. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So yeah, we will, each field will take up to 500 sheep. So we are now over 500 sheep, new sheep for this year, which is quite impressive. And we still have four more game days before the last are done. So, yeah, breeding 20 sheep, no, what's it, 30 sheep for the, uh, not that one, that one. For the achievement is, well, not difficult. Okay, we have 306, so we still have 56 more sheep in that field than we started with. I'll just do the transfers from that field, and then we'll do the transfers from the other field after we've planted the sunflowers tomorrow. transfer all of them. So once we get to late spring that's the time that the wool and the and the sheep value hits the peak. So 
so we will um, go forwards. We'll be selling sheep at that point. I may have to lease myself a bigger vehicle to uh, get them all down there. But I typically I will sell all of the reasonably valuable male lambs that we have because they don't add to our flock next year and uh, they don't pro well they do produce wool but they just eat mostly and we are kind of relying on you know the quantity of sheep that we have so said yes yeah, see this is 247 that's not reasonable I mean that's free 247 pounds of income So I tend to I tend to not be concerned with feeding them for the next year when all they're going to do is produce wool and we have more than enough wool. Trust me on that. We make so much wool that I've had to um, use a wool container mod in order to not have to produce, to move the wool pallets every eight hours, 12 hours. And if we look at the moment, so this is Oakfield, this is where I'm putting all the baby sheep. This one here, 15,500 litres of wool, this one 17,500 litres of wool. So we have serious production of wool. Um, approximately, I think it's about 6,000 litres of wool per day and so you end up getting the oh there's not enough room to spawn more wool message at least once if not twice a day and that can be a little bit of a problem because If it's in the middle of the night and I'm sleeping, I can't do anything about it. Okay. Confirmed. This is the best tractor we have for this because it is four wheel steer and has 40 mile an hour top speed. So, in the grand scheme of, ugh, oh, this is such a boring task, but it needs to get done. It doesn't entirely need to get done, but when you consider we've already produced more than 500 sheep from the 500 sheep we started with at the beginning of the year, and the fields only take 500 each, that's kind of a problem. Okay, I'll call that... All that done for now. We'll transfer the sheep from the other field tomorrow until this field at the top has 500 sheep at which point it's at capacity. And hopefully there's enough capacity in the other two to get us through to the end of spring. There should be because as I said I'm going to be selling all the male sheep that are of a reasonable value. Those of you that watch real life farmers on YouTube, Holly's farm has this trailer which he uses to transfer his sheep and his cows from the broads back to the farm. And it can also double up as a bale trailer, so kind of handy. Okay, sheep moved, I need to close the gate. Let's jump down there and close the gate. Magic beaming devices, there we go. So yeah, 
if I go there and look. Oh, that's, yeah. So, see, these are all my older sheep, which are worth 410. These are all worth about 265, 263, which is probably about a good price. See, this one is zero years old, so it was born very recently. So 239 is the minimum value of a sheep. Now you might find in our top field, if we jump up there. Um, some of these 501. See, this is 0.2 years old. This is 309, 275. So these have gained some value over and above what we just loaded in there, 255. 265, 247. So, in the grand scheme of things, 247, 265, that's 10% more. This one at the top, that's 30% more. So, they gain value quite quickly. So, I tend to sell the male sheep that are worth a lot because it's a it, again it's another laborious drug task running all the way to the animal dealer and back okay we are i think we're good for today sheep were fed we moved everything oh i was going to check it's going to check our wool pallets so yeah here is all of our singles Three deep, two high, four wide. Um, I've got two there that are partials. And then over here, we have these things which are producing, yeah, which are holding up to 32,000 litres. So it's going to be a lot easier to move those around next year or this year. Only have to drive to the store once rather than. 10 times. Anyway, that's that's our sheep production for now. They will take us through to probably about 8.30, I would guess. Well, we might get away with 8 o'clock-ish. Yep. So, 12 hours sleep to 8 a.m. What is gonna happen? Loan interest, vehicle running costs, property maintenance, yeah, no big deal. And the ground is wet. So we have the icon next to the temperature, which basically we have wet ground because that's what ground does in the morning during spring. We have an early morning dew, the ground is wet, you can't harvest anything nothing to stop us from planting anyway I think th the ground temperature just went down which isn't working in our favor need to get out and feed the sheep we'll do that uh, not sure why the health of those sheep is so low well that's 83 Man, yeah, that's uh, I don't know Was it saying they were unhealthy? I don't know. Well, there's that. I don't know what that bar means. Maybe it's the level of food they have. Who knows? Anyway, so we have sheep to take care of. We'll run over here, we'll run the water. Oops, we'll open the gate. We'll go and get the Land Rover and drag that out there. Top off everything. I might need to use the telehandler to uh, do something about the ground.